Did you know that you can use AI to create super realistic mockups for your t-shirt, apparel, or print-on-demand business? Today, I wanna show you how you can do it in just a few steps, and it might even be simpler than you think. So we're gonna start by using Midjourney, and Midjourney's really great for creating very realistic images that are actually even hard to tell the difference from you know, what is real and what is actually AI generated. And the cool part about creating your own mockups is you get to create the exact ideal customer that you want to display on your, you know, in your brand that you wanna to sell to. And this makes your mockups look so much better than using something like Placeit or maybe another tool out there. And you don't have to go you know, hire a photographer and get models and order your products and all that kind of stuff. You can make these look really, really good and then you can use these on your website, in your ads, on social media, and they look super professional. And again, the biggest thing is that you can display the exact type of customer that you wanna sell to, and that can be really, really powerful. So inside Mid Journey, I've put in a very basic prompt. I put in an African-American man, 25 years old, wearing a completely blank black t-shirt, standing outside in the city, facing the camera, smiling, and this is what it gave me. And this is it's pretty awesome, right? All of these are actually really, really good. Sometimes you get one or two that are that are okay. Sometimes you get, you know, all four like this that look really, really good. I'm gonna scroll up in my feed and I wanna show you one more that I did, which is uh, right here. I put in a 45 year old woman, white Caucasian with blo blonde hair, long hair, smiling at the camera, wearing a white t-shirt, completely blank outside with palm trees in the background. And this is what it gave me. Now I think like this one down here and the third one uh, looks a little more fake. It looks a little more AI generated, but this one was the one that caught my eye, the second one, because it looked very realistic. And so after you put in that initial prompt and you get kind of a really good looking blank mock-up that looks pretty real, there's a couple other things you can do that I wanna show you. Now I'm actually gonna scroll down to the bottom here because I'm gonna show you with this, this most current prompt that I put in. So you can see these are the first four that I got. And the idea here is just that we generate a person wearing a blank t-shirt. In the next step, we're gonna be adding on our own design and making it look really real. But right here, we've got these four generations and we wanna choose the one that we'd like to upscale. Now I've gone ahead and upscaled a few of these because I wanna show you something really cool. So I upscaled three of these. This is actually the one that I'm gonna go with. This is the one I like the most. I like that it's got a lot of crinkles in the shirt, you know, a lot of kind of wrinkles in there, which make it, which is going to make it look a little more real, a little more lifelike once we add our design. And I like that the entire shirt is actually in the photo. Now, sometimes what you'll get is you'll get one like this where the entire kind of shirt isn't in the photo. And there's a really cool feature here in Mid Journey, which is this. By the way, I just put together a free AI style guide over at carryegglercom slash prompts. And you can download this completely free and it's 171 different words you can use in your AI prompts to get better designs that are specifically tailored to t-shirt apparel, print on demand, and creative e-commerce brands. So just go over to carryegglercom slash prompts and download that completely free. And there's a really cool feature here in Mid Journey which is this zoom out feature. So we've got zoom out 1.5X and zoom out 2X. Now, if we click on zoom out 1.5X, what it's going to do is it's actually going to generate more of the image for us uh, if we were to need more, you know, more of the photo in the, in the, actual, the actual generation here. So the fact that that t-shirt is cut off, we can actually use this zoom out function to get the rest of the image, right? That's really, really cool. So sometimes, you know, you get something out of Mid Journey and you can use this for a lot of different things, but you get an image out of Mid Journey that you're like, this is what I want. I just can't see all of the elements that I need. I can't see the whole image. So you can use that zoom out function to actually get the rest of what you need generated. So here's what it gave me after I zoomed out. It actually gave me four generations and these are very, very similar and you can see that the middle image here of, the, of the, the man is the exact same image that I had before, but now I can, mainly what I'm looking for is I can see his arms tucked into his pockets, and now I can pick which one that I like the most. Now, these are very similar, so there's, there's not a lot to go through here, but one thing I do notice is that he's wearing a watch in this one, and it looks almost a little fake or AI generated. 
But I do like this one where he's actually wearing some some like uh, you know bracelets. So I'm gonna use that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and upscale number two. Now, even though the original generation was not exactly what I wanted, I was able to use the zoom out function to get the entire t-shirt in the photo and now this is a more usable mock-up. So after I've downloaded that image from Mid Journey, I'm gonna drop that into a Photoshop file. So I'm just gonna open up Photoshop and open this image right here. Now, just for reference, you can do the exact same thing in PhotoP, which is a free Photoshop clone. So you don't need a full version of Photoshop. You can do pretty much the exact same thing in PhotoP, P-E-A. Uh, photopea.com, that's a, just a free clone. You can kind of do the same thing in there. So if you don't have Photoshop, you can follow along in PhotoP. But what I wanna do here in Photoshop, and I'm gonna show you, I think the simplest way to do this, there are other things you can do in here to make it look even more realistic, but I wanna show you just the very basic steps so that this isn't too difficult to understand. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop down here and just create a new layer. Click on this little plus button create a new layer. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool over here and I'm just going to create a box where I want the print area to be. Kind of similar to what you would see in maybe a print on demand app. I'm gonna kind of create a box here that's gonna represent my print area and I can move that around if I want. So probably about right there is gonna be kind of what I would think would be the print area on this t-shirt. The next thing I'm gonna do is over here in the layer box, I'm gonna right click and I'm going to select convert to smart object. So I'm gonna to convert to smart object. That's gonna make it to where we can actually drop in our design and we can just update the design and it will automatically load that into our image. The next thing I'm going to do is just open up this layer with my rectangle. That will open up the smart object and this is where I can actually drop in my design to the print area. Next, I'm gonna drop in one of my own designs in here to, the, to this Photoshop file. I'm gonna hit enter and that now I have my Oklahoma City design dropped in here. After that, I can go ahead and delete the red layer underneath that. So I can just press the delete button and now you can see it's only my Oklahoma City design right in here. Now I can place this just by moving my mouse around. I can place it kind of wherever I want and then I'm going to hit on my keyboard, I'm gonna hit command S to save. You can also just hit file save, but I'm actually gonna save this and what it should do is upload into my mock-up right here so you can see it on the shirt. Now, looking at that, that's a little bit low to me. So I'm gonna go back to my, uh, to my smart object and I'm just gonna drag this up a little bit and I'm gonna hit save again. So either Command S on a Mac or you can hit File Save. Now if I go back over, now it's looking like it's in the right place on my mock-up. Now we're not done yet. We need to make a few adjustments here to actually make this look a little more realistic. What I'm gonna do next is I'm actually gonna duplicate the mock-up image. So this layer zero down here, I'm gonna drag it to this little plus sign and it's going to create a duplicate of that. I'm gonna drag this up above my, uh, my, um, my little design there, my OKC design, and I'm going to right click on it and what I wanna do is I wanna create a clipping mask. So I'm gonna hit create clipping mask, just like that. The next thing I'm going to do is change my blend mode. So right here, instead of normal, I'm gonna click on that and I'm actually gonna do hard light. And you can instantly see that right there, even though the Oklahoma City design is very dark, it looks a lot more realistic because now we're actually seeing some of those crinkles come through. And so that's kind of the biggest thing we need to do. The next thing we need to do to make this look really realistic is with the layer selected, the top layer, this, uh, this kind of clipping mask that we have created, we're gonna open up uh, image, up here at the top, we're gonna go to adjustments, and we're going to open up curves. You can also just press Command M on your keyboard, and that should pull it up. And it's gonna pull up a window that looks like this. Now, depending on the color of your t-shirt, this color is black. If you're dealing with white, it's gonna be a little bit different. You're going to want to drag either this side back or drag this side back. If you're on a white t-shirt, usually you'll be dragging this end, but on a black t-shirt, we're actually gonna drag this end back. And we're gonna drag it back until we get it looking like it should on the t-shirt. Now we can kind of just, we'd have to judge with our eye whether that looks too, too bright or too dark. I think somewhere around there is probably about right. When it's printed on a t-shirt, it will 
look a little bit darker, you know, than it, than it will look on your screen. So probably somewhere around there is a good, is a good place to put it. So I'm gonna put it right there and hit okay. We just have to use our eyes for best judgment. And already that's looking, I mean, that looks a lot better. It looks pretty realistic because if we zoom in, we can see, uh, you know, the wrinkles in the t-shirt kind of shining through. We can see even kind of some, almost some, some dots here that make it look like you can see the garment shining through. And the last thing we wanna do is very subtle, but if we just click on layer one, which is gonna be the Oklahoma City design, I like to take the opacity down just a little bit. So if we take this down to like 90, maybe even like 80 or 85, you can see it starts to blend just a little bit more. I'm gonna go 85 with this one. And so that just helps it look a little more realistic. And just like that, within a few minutes, we've created a really realistic looking mock-up that we can use on our website, on social media, in paid advertising. And it should be our exact ideal customer that we were able to put in some of those features into the prompt, get exactly what we're looking for. This is a really powerful tool and I hope you take it back to your business and crush it.